A ver. Good afternoon, teacher. Uh, today we are going to analyze a photograph um, taken from an assignment of the human development uh, subject as a reference to be able to make uh, its respective analysis and also add our point of view uh, on the development of the select text. My name is Gabriel Barreto and my classmate's name is Brian Espinosa. Okay, um, to begin with our visual analysis um, of the photographs uh, that we have uh, selected for this work, um, we can observe and indicate that um, both photographs are correctly structured for one of the most important reasons, which is uh, that uh, each sentence begins with its um, respective capital letter. And also uh, at the end of each sentence, we can see that uh, there are periods. Um, as our personal point of view, um, we can say uh, that it is not a uh, text visually difficult to understand for the reader and that it has clear and precise words. At the syntactic level, uh, we have uh, 17 sentences within the photographs, which we can find more easily and quickly uh, because of their punctuation marks. Uh, to continue uh, at the semantic level in the text, um, it can be identified uh, that in the photographs are structured with the following elements. For example, um, the central idea, uh, development and the final argument. As can be seen, uh, it is a text with complete ideas and writing with each of its due punctuation marks as part of a very good grammar and always using its grammatical rules as they should be applied in well uh, structured paragraphs. Okay, uh, for this paragraph with 17, 17 sentences, uh, we use uh, simple sentences like the ones that can be seen in the part of the steps that we're following in this project. Also, this paragraph has compound sentences that can be visualized in most of the text. For example, they are found in the part that use a column to give examples. Also, they are found to provide a list using the comma. And lastly, we have the complex sentences. In this case, we don't have many, but according to our review, it should have been used, used in another sentences. This type of sentences is used when there are two independent clauses. In this case, two different ideas, but not completely separated by the period, but by a semicolon itself. Okay. Okay, now we are going to describe the uses of punctuation marks. Uh, first, we have the period that we use to conclude an idea and to give way to a new idea. The second that, that we have is the comma that we use to make a list, for example, uh, when we have two or, or more things that we are talking about. The other hand, the column that we use to give an example or to give way to a list. And finally, in the paragraph, we have the semicolon used to provide two independent clauses. They are generally used to continue with different ideas direct to the main topic. And finally, we are going to, talk, uh, we are going to review some mistakes that we found in this paragraph. In points one and two, we can see that something is missing before the noun. 
In this case, we can use D. In case three, we can break it to, into two. In case four, in this is this a very general word. In other cases, five, eight, nine, and eleven, it is only that the uses of a comma is missing. And finally, we have the case thirteen. We could improve the sentences for paraphrasing. And that's all. And thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye.